What's up, everyone? My name is Matthew Dale. I'm here to help you play better, sound great, and understand more. And we're going to be back in the Fractal ecosystem today talking about compressors. Where does your compressor go in your chain? Are you a compressor first type of person, uh, maybe after um, the drive, but before the amplifier, maybe secret option number three, which is what I'm going to talk about today in this video. So let's dive in and take a look um, and let's get some tones together first. So I've really been liking uh, the Bogner Shiva or the Shiver as it's called in here. I've got the Bogner uh, 412 Redbacks going on right now. And just at stock settings, the Shiva Clean is kind of meh. It's just kind of okay. So keep in mind, right now I'm on my bridge pickup. Still really dark. I'm going to switch to um, both humbuckers. Let's do a little bit of work. I like to take this up to about six. Drop this guy back a bit. Put this guy up a bit. Bright switch on, a little more presence, a little more depth. So we got a little bit of a smiley face thing happening. And now we've got almost, I like to pull this up to 6.2. Now we've got a little more life to this amplifier. And you can see my preset leveling tool is jumping a little bit. So let's bring this down to negative 19. Here's a single coil neck sound. And you can hear there's a lot of dynamic range. It's not so bad with humbuckers, but when I switch to single coils on the DGT here, uh, there's a lot of dynamic range. And that's something that can be tricky um, with clean tones. That's why we often use a compressor to sort of mitigate that. Now, let's go ahead and jump over to, I'm going to use the scene manager here and... Uh, I want B on scene two, and it's already there, which is good. So let's go ahead and jump over to scene two, which is going to be amp channel B. And let's go over back to our amp. And here's the Shiva lead, bridge pickup stock settings. Again, kind of just, you know, just okay at stock settings. Same type of work. This time I'm going to juice the mids a little bit more bright on, a little more presence, a little more depth for a little bit of funkiness. And let's see, master volume, also up around six, and drop this. And that's already sounding quite a bit better there. Let's go ahead and just put this up just a little more. All right, good. Let's go ahead and go back to our clean tone and put a drive and a compressor in here. Let's start with the drive. Uh, and because I really want to try out um, one of our new drives, I'm on a brand new firmware. I literally just updated my Axe FX. I'm on 22.04, and we have a new model. It's the Sunrise Splendor model in here, which models one of my favorite drive pedals of all time. I've got one sitting over there somewhere. It's the JHS Morning Glory. Right now, I've got it juicing a little bit of level, a little bit of gain, and a little bit of tone, and into our clean amplifier, it sounds like this. Really nice, um, light breakup tone. Um, this is modeled off of a uh, Marshall Blues Breaker with a little bit more level out of it. We already have a couple of Blues Breaker styles in here. Uh, the Blues OD, that is the original Marshall Blues Breaker. And then uh, if you are a fan of the Tone of King or the King of Tone um, or the Prince of Tone also, you will probably like this because it's a very similar, if not the same ish, same ish circuit. <laughs> Really nice and touch responsive. Now let's go ahead and grab the 
name of the game, what we're talking about here. The studio, uh, I got the compressor called up, the Studio FB compressor. Um, I like this one. This is kind of like an LA-2A type of thing, but with some more controls. Um, a lot of the vintage compressors were uh, feedback based uh, compressors in their topology. Uh, ratio around 3.3 or so. I've got auto everything on just to kind of make it easy. Mix at 100% level, staying at zero. If we just listen to it right now before the amplifier with no drive, into our clean tone again. It kind of sucks out all the goodness that we got out of the amplifier. Here it is without. So when I kind of lay into it, we have that nice amp sound that I like. And now I've kind of taken that out. This sort of sound works pretty well for like funk. Because it is like, it feels more compressed than it actually is. This is still a pretty low ratio. Um, but again, it's just sort of like sucking the life out or restricting my dynamic range. Um, not in the most pleasing way that I like. Let's hear what it sounds like with the drive. So here's our drive again. Got a little more life back into it. If I swap these around, I've got drive into the compressor. And then again, it's kind of taking the life out of, of it again. It's reducing all the level stuff that I've got going on from the drive block before it hits the front end of the amplifier like it's doing here, it's kind of sucking that um, that volume back down. And then again, if I go back, less. less drive stuff happening as well. So in the fractal ecosystem and in modelers in general, it's actually really easy to recreate something that's more akin to a recorded guitar tone signal chain. So all of your pedals and effects that would happen before the amp, we can also replicate all the studio chain stuff that would be happening after it's captured with a microphone like it would be in our cab block. So I'm gonna move this compressor over behind the cab lock. And just from the clean tone here, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like on the Shiva. So here is that, let's go ahead and bypass. There's our compressor, and then engage, let's move it over here. It's doing like it's it's really acting as sort of the glue. I'm not restricting my da my dynamic range going into the amplifier. It's just sort of shortening everything up, shortening that dynamic level up after the amp and cab, after I would be capturing this tone like in a studio with a microphone, and it's just making everything just feel and to my ears sound better. So again, here it is out and then back in. There's a little bit of a level bump because I've got auto makeup gain on. But nothing that's really big. How about if we get our JHS back up? Let's do split neck. Yeah, let's add a little bit of some reverb to this just to kind of fill out the sound a little bit. I've got the large hall called up and at 10%.
something for a little bit of a splash. That sounds really good. Here it is without the morning glory again. See, it just feels like it's leveling out all those things. How about... Here, that is, I have the drive on there. That can, that can be kind of fun. So it's very subtly just improving um, the tone overall and the feel overall. I, I really, a lot of my presets that I've been making lately feature a compressor after. You can still use like um, a pedal compressor or like a Dynacomp for country stuff before all this stuff and still get that tone and that feel under your fingers of that type of compressor doing that type of thing. But using one of the studio compressors, again, studio feedback, studio feed forward works really well for this as well. Back here behind the amp and cab, um, I really like the way this works. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think um, and where do you typically run your pedals. Let's still have a little bit more fun with our uh, Shiva here in the lead setting. Let's get a delay going on here. Let's hook it up in stereo uh, or in parallel I should say I got the stereo tape called up 75% mix at 100 input gain over there let's go over to the Shiva let's go and pull up the Super OD 12 on <laughs> A lot of fun stuff, a lot of great stuff there. Once again, let me know what you think. Where do you typically put a compressor in your presets? If you want to grab any of my tones for yourself for free, like all of these guys that I have in here in the amp lock, and all these guys that I have in here in the cab lock, and so on and so forth, you can download my blocks library. Just go to matthewdale.com slash blocks and get some of these great tones for yourself. Also, if you like this preset, I'm going to finish it up and put a couple tweaks on it and put it up on my Patreon so you can find that linked in the description box below. My name is Matthew Dale. I'm here to help you play better, sound great, and understand more, and I'll see you again on the next one.